Let's look at the lab on velocity and acceleration. You've already used the two meter track, but let me go through it again. Uh, this is the two meter track. It should be level. This is the motion cart. Remember, it fits on here very nicely. We have the motion detector at the end. It's clipped on to the end of the track and we like it to be on narrow beam. We find that it works best that way. We well, want to have an end stop on the other end of the track because the worst thing in the world is for this uh, cart to, to actually go off the end of it. Now what we're adding this week is going to be a fan cart because we want to study velocity and acceleration. We're going to use the fan to give us acceleration. In order to do that, we have these four AA batteries. I think we start off with three batteries. I already have two in there. You look down inside here and you have to get the light just right. To, to, to see which way is the plus and the minus. So I'm going to put, let's see, there's minus. The minus always goes up against the spring. I want three batteries, so I have to go to the top and get one of the dummy cells. And then that goes in there where the dummy cell is, because you've got to have four things in there for it to get current. And then the fourth battery you want to store in the top, because we want to get in the habit of always having the same mass. Okay, so if I turn this on, Viola, you can hear the fan work. Okay, so this will now clip right on top of the of the track and it wants to be on there fairly secure and we had to put this cover on here because in previous years we had some accidents where people were, were hurting themselves. Now remember that we still have to level the track. These tracks are fairly level and you may find it level but you should always check it. It looks very level in the middle. Sometimes you will find that it's level at one point along the track but not level along the other part. I've already spent some time leveling this one. Remember you used to use the little feet down here, they're screw feet, and you can adjust it. You also sort of want to make sure it's fairly level that way, and this one is. So make sure you get in the habit of checking this. Okay, so we have the track already. The motion detector is hooked up into the interface. I'm not even going to use the computer in Data Studio because I think that's all pretty clear. Okay, so we're going to study the signs of the velocity and acceleration. You're going to find the average acceleration in this experiment several ways, just like last time we found the average velocity several ways. Let's look at the different motions that we're going to uh, try in this experiment. Okay, we're going to have, uh, let's see, let me turn on the fan. The first one we're going to do is moving away from the motion detector and speeding up. Okay, remember this way is positive. So let's turn on the fan and see which way it goes. Okay, it's going the wrong way. So I can simply just switch the cart around this way, turn on the fan, start about, whoops, start about 20 This is why you need partners, you see, somebody should be doing this from the other side. Get about 20 meters away, turn on the fan, and it accelerates. Okay. You never want to start closer than 20 centimeters. That's the first one you do. Now the second one is it's going to slow down. It's going to be moving away and slowing down. Okay, so I turn it on and now this time I give it a little shove. And see it slows down. And then you stop it. Always turn the fan off at the end of the experiment because we want to save the batteries. Then the next one is to go towards the motion detector. Okay, so we start down at this end. We turn on the fan and it moves to the motion detector and it's speeding up. Okay, and then finally for this set of experiments you go towards the motion detector but slow down. So I have to give it a little shove at the beginning this time. See it wants to go this way so I give it a little shove. And by the way it's not real cool to shove these really hard and have it go hit the motion detector. That's a no-no and it's certainly not cool for you to hit it so hard that it goes off the track. When that happens everybody in the room stops and glares at you. The TA comes over and admonishes you and, and really bad things can happen. So, you know, try it out a little bit. You know, just don't really shove it. Okay, now finally the last experiment we're going to do is to look at the reversing direction. Okay, let me get this going the right way. It's going the wrong way, so I need to turn it around. So what I want to do is, I'm going to, I'm, I'm going to start it like this. I'm going to give it a shove, 
this way, the fan is going to slow it down because the fan is going to force it to go that way. It's going to, it's going to speed up. Well, I'm going to give it a, a, a push. It's going to slow down, stop, turn around and come back and you stop it when it gets here. Okay, let's see this. And again, I don't want to push it real hard. Okay, it's moving, slows down, stops, turns around and goes back to the motion detector and you stop it and turn off the fan. Okay, that's pretty much all the motions you're going to do uh, this week and then you'll do a lot of the analysis with the computer. One thing I need to show you is that we, during, during the experiment you need to go from three batteries to four batteries. And it's a little hard on your fingernails to get these out and that's why we have the screwdriver. So you put the screwdriver down in there for the dummy cell, the uh, aluminum, you sort of pry it out, okay? So I have that out. Now you take this battery out and you put it in, again I always have to get the reflection just right, and I put that in where that went and then I find the dummy cell which rolled away from me and put it in. I'm just going to turn it on and you can even tell that it's a much higher velocity so this will actually give it a greater force. So good luck.